This tutorial will show you how to sew on a button. So I've marked here where I would like my button to go on. I'm gonna go up through. So have a look at your button. I've got four holes here. So imagine where you want the needle to thread through your first hole. So it's near the top here. So I'm gonna pierce that through my work. And then I'm gonna pull this all the way through as normal so that you've got the knot the other side. Now you need this to go through the holes on your button. So make sure it's the right way round and put this through one of the holes. And then pull that all the way down so it sits on your work. Now you can either do this as a cross stitch or you could do it as a blanket stitch. So if I went across, I just need to make sure that that's sitting in the correct place underneath where I stitch. And you just thread that straight down and pull that nice and taut so your button will stay in place. Now you need to find where your next thread should go through because you now need to go through up through one of these holes and cross over this way. So if you turn your work over, you should be able to see roughly where your first stitch was, where you've just come through, and then you know you should go up roughly about there. And just make sure it goes through the correct hole the other side. So now I'm gonna pull this all the way through and stitch that over the other side. Just make sure, okay, that's not that secure because I've only done a stitch in each hole. So try and do a couple of stitches in each hole. So go back over across now, you can see how that's a little bit loose. So I'd go back over now, up through the first stitch. And just pop that through. See, it can be a little bit fiddly, this one. So just pop that back through. And again, just cross that over. And then do the same on the other side. When you've done that a couple of times and you're ready to cast off at the back, just do it how you normally do it. Thread your needle into one of those sections, pull that through and then with your loop, just create a little knot there. And do that a couple of times through that same loop so that knots that safely and your thread is not going to come undone okay and you don't need to worry about this side being messy because it's only this side of your work that you're going to see so that's how you sew on a button